What's up YouTube, Autocon 360 here back again with another review and today we'll be taking a look at the Transformers War for Cybertron Siege Voyager Class Optimus Prime. So here we are and there he is and first and foremost as always I do have a box there for you this video. I'm sorry I forgot to mention in the last video with Megatron that I've had Megatron for a little while so I threw away the box because I didn't know when I'd be reviewing it so I just threw the box away. So we'll take a look at Optimus's box instead. Alright, so here we have our packaging for our Wharf Cybertron Siege Voyagers. Um, really nice symbol here in the background. Nice image of the figure there um, on the side. Now, if you shine a black light on this, it does give you another image. I don't know what that is. Um, so, you have that information. Um, Autobot symbol on the top. Nice image here on the side. Really like this picture. Uh, on the back, you just have your obligatory product shots. And not much more at the bottom so there you go and bringing it back down to ground level here here we have our or cybertron siege voyager optimus now i really like this um alt move for prime um it's a really good cybertronian truck um i just i really enjoy the the aesthetics of it it took me a little while to get used to this thing up here um but other than that now that i have the figure in hand it's not really that big of a problem. So let's take a look here at the details of the truck itself. That's a nice silver paint here on the side. And for these windows, at least they were blue, um, to match the blue on the front. But whatever, I'm, this Transformers inconsistency is not its favorite thing. So kind of used to it at this point. Um, got some nice battle damage paint here on the side from the robot mode. Um, nice silver on all the rims, even the ones that are covered. Um, little hollowness back here but nothing that i'm too worried about you have these pegs here like i said i'm not sure these support titan masters um, but i do know they are for the effects pieces uh, they come with your battle masters and things um again more of that battle damage paint here a nice smoke stacks on the back um nice white paint here i wish it was silver but i'll get over it no silver on the bumper Whatever, I'll get over it. Do have silver on these Gatling guns here. Um, people have been calling these lights, but if you look at them, those are definitely Gatling guns. Um, which I really like the idea of Prime having two Gatling guns on the, or four Gatling guns on the front of his truck. I think that's cool. And you also have some battle damage paint here from robot mode. Um, but that is basically it. And of course, he does roll as rolling things should. I'm ready for rolling. Um, yeah, um, so let's go ahead here and take a look at his accessories. So with this being a Optimus Prime figure, he does, of course, come with his rifle. Um, it is that dark brown plastic that I talked about in the Megatron video. Focus. Um, but nice details in it. Um, not my favorite, but, you know, it works. Um, it does look really good with him. Uh, I, I thought in pictures it looked a little small. But in hand, it looks like it's perfectly scaled for him, um, so that's good. Now, this is a darker brown than what we saw with Megatron. That was a bit more brown than this is, so um, if the brownish plastic that Hasbro's been using bothers you, here you go. It's almost black. Hooray. And then we also have this shield here um, with some pegs here for some effects parts, and this will become Prime's axe in robot mode. Um, so, you have that as well. Nice Autobot symbol there, just not painted. Um, so, for storage in vehicle mode, um, the instructions tell you to take this panel here and flip it up, give you your port, take the shield, and that post, plug that in there, and take the rifle and plug it in one of these posts up here. I think that looks ridiculous, personally. Um, so, what I like to do is I do like to take and plug the shield into the top of the rifle, like so, and then just plug the rifle right there. I think it cleans everything a bit, cleans everything up a bit better, um, and then just makes it look a bit more cohesive. Um, so yeah, and now for comparison, we will bring in some Voyager's past. Here we have the Age of Extinction Evasion Mode Optimus Prime. Um, 
who is a bit, they're the exact same size height wise, um, but the evasion mode prime is shorter. Let me take this off here. And then here he is with the last night Voyager Prime, um, who does also have him in height and length. Um, so if you want a bigger prime, your uh, last night prime is the way to go. Um, and then here we have, just because the Fall of Cybertron Deluxe Prime. Um, so yeah, um, of course he's a Deluxe, he's going to be smaller. And here we have our Siege Voyager Megatron, which the two of them do look really good together. Um, I really like the aesthetics of both of these figures. Um, I don't really know how to scale this. They are the same length if you go by the actual bodies themselves, but of course Megatron's cannon does take him over that edge. Um, so yeah. And one more comparison here, just because here he is with the Marvel Legends Juggernaut Builder Figure Wave, Deadpool. If he'll stand. So there you go. All right, so let's go ahead and get this guy into robot mode. So first thing you want to do here is you want to take these panels on the side and you want to unpeg them from the thigh like so. And of course, also you want to fold in that port as well. Um, then you want to come in here and unpeg this front bumper section. It just pegs in four places. Uh, these panels here and then the Gatling guns on the front and then you open up the front here and you just swing this up like so and then you come in here and you fold down the bumper and fold these in and they do actually tab in right there and you just fold that down and we'll leave that right there for now at this time you can go ahead here and unfold the head and you can come in here and fold these panels down and they will tab in a little tab right there and uh, tab in right there and in true oh wait you gotta fold these wheels down and they will tab in right there lock them in place so they're not swinging all around on you and in true Optimus Prime fashion you just take the arms and you pull them out and close up the chest and you just take the Gatling guns here and you rotate them under like so. And you take your wheels here and they are on a double hinge. So you just swing that up and collapse that into the body like so. And now you want to, these two tabs right here are gonna plug into the back of the crotch plate. You just swing this whole thing down. It does kind of soft tab in. Um, I wish that was a more solid connection, so when you're moving the legs, you don't do that a lot. Um, which you're going to do a lot. Um, and, oh, we're getting tall here. And, so, to finish out the backpack here, you just take this and rotate it. And there's two tabs right here that will tab in to the slots next to the grill. And, like so. That'll lock the backpack into place. And now you come under here, and you split the legs. I'm too tall. And you split the legs. You come here and you fold out this panel and rotate around. It just ports in with that port and that little peg right there. Um, before you do that though, you want to rotate the wheels around. And this tab right here is going to tab in to the back of the wheels, like so. And then you rotate at the knee and you fold out the feet. And there you have a leg all done. And now you're doing that again over here. Tap that in, unfold the foot, rotate at the knee. And here you have a very good G1 looking Optimus Prime. Now this is the Prime that I wanted out of the past three lines that we've gotten from, Titan Re from Titan's Return, from um, Combiner Wars, from uh, Power of the Primes, to me, those weren't good G1 Optimus Primes. Those were good and just random designs for Prime, which were fine. Um, I Really, the only one that I had a 
big issue with was the um, Combiner Wars Prime. I thought he was too he was too wide and too flat. He just looked too beefy, but he looked like a pancake at the same time. It just didn't work. I didn't like it. Um, for Combiner Wars, or I'm sorry, for Power of the Prime, or Titan's Return, um, we got two Primes. We got a Leader and a um, Voyager. The Leader was a bit more G1 inspired. The Voyager was G2 inspired. Didn't really care for either one. Or I'm sorry, um, the Titan's Return uh, Leader was inspired by the God Jinrai. The Power Master, basically. Um, Power Master Optimus Prime, there we go. Power of the Primes one, just didn't like how it transformed. Like, it had a good-looking robot mode, but I didn't like the whole fold-up Orion and shove him into Optimus Prime's torso. But this, this right here, just captures the silhouette of a G1 Optimus Prime, which is very good. Um, I do really like that, and he does always look like he has this very heroic stance about him, uh, which is also something that I, that I really enjoy about the Studio Series Bumblebee Optimus Prime. They both just look like they have good heroic stances. Um, just vanilla pose like this, he still looks awesome. Um, and I will be getting to Studio Series Bumblebee Prime soon, um, probably within the next few weeks. Um, but let's take a closer look at the head sculpt here. Um, nice bright blue eyes here on this Optimus Prime head, and a really G1 inspired head for Prime. A nice silver on the face and on the mouth plate. Got more of that battle damage paint showing off in robot mode on the arms. Um, and again, this white strip, I wish it was silver. Um, it does carry over from the robot mode one, so I get why they did it, um, but I just I wish it was silver. Um, nice yellow here on the crotch. Um, nice more battle damage paint there on the thighs. I wish there was some on the legs, maybe on the feet, um, but overall, can't complain too much. Um, I'm not a big fan of the ports on the smokestacks, but I get it. It's part of the gimmick of the line. It happens, whatever. Um, so, in terms of articulation, the head is on a ball joint. Um, it does mostly give you up and down in 360 movement. You get a little bit of pivot out of it, just a little bit. Um, shoulders can do a full 360. They do hinge out, and of course the smokestack does move out of the way to accommodate. You do have this joint here, if that does anything for you. You do have a bicep swivel. Um, you have a little over 90 degrees of movement there on the arm, or on the elbow. Now you got a wrist swivel. You do have a waist swivel. Your hips will kick forward that far and back that far. It will kick outward and do the full splits. You do have a thigh swivel. You also have that swivel at the knee from transformation. You do have full range movement there on the knee. Everything plugged back in. And no rotation on the ankle, but you do have a nice ankle pivot. And to bring back his accessories here, we can give him his rifle. Um, you can plug this in on the forums if you want to. If you want to be weird, um, you can plug it into his fist where it does go. Um, and if you want to sort, you do have these two posts here on the back. And you just plug it in right there. And in terms of this shield here, you can, of course, plug this into his forearm like so. But because the panel doesn't go all the way into his the port doesn't go all the way into his forearm. It's going to stick out like that. I don't really like doing that. You can, of course, store it on the ports on his back, just like with the rifle. Um, you can plug it into his hand like this, which doesn't make it very effective. Um, so what I like to do is, of course, transform it into its axe mode um, and just have him standing there with that. Um, so to do that, you just take and unfold the handle so you can get it in focus, and it does tab in right there. And then you want to... Take this little tab here and push it down, which will flip out the back. Do the same thing over here, and you flip out the front. And I wish the front locked in in some way. That's really annoying that it doesn't. Um, but from there, you can just plug it right into his hand. And he does look really cool with it. Um, it's a really good axe for Prime. 
I like Prime with this battle axe. Or of course, you know you do still have the Gatling guns on the bottom of the forearms. So you can arm this guy however you wish. You can get some battle masters. Um, I really give this guy some more weapons and things. It's totally up to you. So for comparison, and here he is with the Fall of Cybertron Deluxe Optimus Prime. I know I'm doing these out of order from how I did them before. But it's my show and I'll do what I want. So here he is with the Deluxe Prime. Um, but yeah, here he is with the Deluxe Prime. And um, yeah, um, forgot how bad of a figure this was. Um, here he is with the um, Voyager Age of Extinction Evasion Mode Prime, um, which is much taller than this one. Uh, here he is with the um, Last Night Voyager Prime. Um, which again is much taller than this one uh, and of course here he is with the Siege Voyager Megatron um, which is who he's meant to be with and who he looks best with the two of them just complement each other so well um, Megatron is just a little bit taller than Prime as he should be and he just looks awesome they just look great together uh, and just because here he is with the Juggernaut build a figure wave Deadpool. So there you go. So yeah, all in all, though, a really cool figure. Um, I really, really like this guy. And he looks great with the Siege of Megatron. Um, both of them as just standalone pieces are fantastic. Um, at this point, it is just a matter of finding them somewhere in stock. Um, I know Big Bad Toy Store just got a reship not too long ago. They're still up on Hasbro Pulse, um, and they are still able to be found in some retailers. I found this at Walmart just by chance. Um, I think it's actually the same one that I hit a few weeks ago, but forgot where I put it. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but yeah, really great figure. So if you would like a figure of your own, I will put a link in the description um, where you can pick this guy up. Um, probably be two, probably for one for Big Bad and one for Pulse. Um, so it gives you options who you may prefer. Um, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. All that will be linked in, in the description below. If you like this, please like, share, comment, subscribe. Turn on the notification bell so you know when I upload. And as always, I'm Autocon360. And have a great one. Bye!